हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो आई होप आप सब सेफ होंगे अपने घर के अंदर होंगे और अपने एग्जाम्स के प्रिपरेशन अच्छे से कर रहे होंगे सो इन द फर्स्ट टॉपिक फॉर इंटीग्रेशन यू हैव ऑलरेडी सीन सम टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस नाउ आई शो यू सम अदर टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस एज वेल इन डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल्स नाउ दिस अनदर टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू कैन सी दैट द लिमिट रेंजेस फ्रॉम जीरो टू फाइव बाई टू and the expression in front of that is dx upon 4 cos square x plus 9 sin square x similarly if you see in the second type of question as well you can see that the limit ranges from 0 to pi by 2 and the expression is dx upon 13 sin square x plus 16 cos square x now hum jab bhi is format wale question ko dekhenge so you always know the identity that is cos square x plus sin square x equals to 1 agar aapko ye identity yaad hai to you can directly answer this question as i'll tell you pi by 12 is the answer for the first type and for the second type the answer would be pi upon 8 under root 30 that's correct ye solution bhi maine shayad 5 seconds ke andar liya agar aap isko conventional method se solve karenge so that will take you a lot of time ab hum iske piche concept samajh lete hain let's see okay so if you ever face this type of question where the limit ranges from 0 to pi by 2 and the expression is in the form of a on the screen then your solution will always be pi upon 2 into ab ab that means your perfect squares jo aapko question mein diye gaye hain for example if i talk about the first expression so 4 and 9 are the perfect squares of 2 and 3 so you can straight away write as pi upon 2 into 3 into 2 and that will give you pi by 12 Coming to the second part. Now here you can see that 16 is a perfect square for 4, but 13 is not a perfect square. So we can write our answer as pi upon 2 into 4 into under root 13, and that will give you pi by 8 under root 13. Now coming to the next topic for the integration, that is integration by parts. Now this is also a very lengthy topic where I talk about the conventional methods, but आज हम इसकी एक short trick सीखेंगे, जिससे आप इस question को within 10 to 15 seconds कर पाएंगे. Now, when we see an integral type of x to the power n, then f x is a function of dx. Now, when f x is a trigonometric function, you have to always remember if f x is a trigonometric function, that is, sine n x or cos m x is given in place of f x, then only this identity or this shortcut trick will be applicable. Another part, even if it's exponential function like e to the power x or e to the power m x, then you can apply the same trick. But I will suggest you that this trick will always be helpful because in 90% of the cases or in 90% of the questions that come in your competitive exams, it is given in the same form for which we are going to tell you the trick today. Now we'll apply the same method of differentiation and integration to the expressions. We'll see how. Let's see for this expression. Now it is given that integral x cube sine 2x dx. Now we can see that this is in the same format. Which we want our question to be, or we want to solve it by a trick. Now, divide this in two parts. That is, x cube is your first part, and sine two x is your second part. As we studied, we have to apply differentiation and integration to both of them. The first part will be the differentiation of the first expression. So now you just have to copy the first part, that is x cube, and you have to keep on differentiating it. Till you get a zero, so x cube will be differentiated as three x square, then six x, then six, and then finally a zero. Once you reach this zero, you have to start integrating the second part of the expression, that is sine two x. Now, when you integrate this, so you will get minus cos two x by two. Again, integrating that, you will get minus sine two x by four, and so on. If you keep on integrating up till zero, you will get these following expressions. Now, the thing to remember is. For differentiation, we have to copy down the first part as it is, and then keep on differentiating. For integration part, we directly have to integrate the second part without copying it to the first expression. If you can see here in the slide, now all you have to do is you have to change the sign of these expressions. For example, over x cube three x square six x, you will write alternate positive and negatives like this. and after that you just have to multiply both of these expressions keeping in mind the sign above it so it will give you 
x cube by 2 cos 2x plus 3 by 4 x square sin 2x plus 3 by 4 cos 2x minus 3 by 8 sin 2x plus any constant c. You can check it yourself. You can conventional method this question ko solve karke dekh sakte hai, and you will come to the same conclusion. If you will get 10 to 15 seconds to solve this question and we will be through with it. The next part we will see as an exponential function. So the expression given to us is x square e to the power x dx. Now how to solve this expression? Similar approach will be applied. You have to copy the first part that is x square and keep on differentiating it. That will be 2x, 2 and a 0. And for the integration of e to the power x, you must be knowing that it is always e to the power x only. The integration for e raised to the power x is always same when you are performing integration. Again, you just have to take care of the signs, the positive and negative signs alternate in front of these expressions and then multiply that. So the final answer you will be getting that x square e to the power x minus 2x e to the power x plus 2 e to the power x plus c. You can simplify it as per the options given to you. You can just take e to the power x as a common factor and then in brackets you can write x square minus 2x plus 2 plus a constant c. That is all. If you like this video by Hit Bullseye, do like and comment and do subscribe our Hit Bullseye channel.